sorry I moved the wheel so much. It's hard, man. Yeah. Welcome to Good Mythical More. We are going to taste and rank the uh, best garlic toasts that you can buy at the uh, store. Uh, is it just garlic bread? And garlic breads. <laughs> Put that one back under the heater. Can we just have the toasts? Put that one back under the heater. Um, so you we know, can this start is a here. tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to right. just taste garlic bread. Well, um, sporks.com has ranked these. Now we're going to independently rank them and see how it works out. But this is ones that they thought were good. And we're just going to, you know, there, there's not like one of those, like a bad one they snuck in there. But first, let's play what's the word? We're going to guess the definition of mucculent. Mucculent. Or mucilent. 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 Because mu mucus is M U C U S. I think this is when you have really succulent mucus. Uh, it's delectable. Everyone loves it. Tasty. Every, everyone lines up. Every yeah. You know, every once uh, in a while, you'll find somebody with succulent succulent mucus. Do, the do, to be um, diagnosed, the doctor has to taste it, but they usually get the PA to do it. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. You know, PAs do most of the work. Who are we kidding? That's what we're talking about. Slimy, oh, moist. moist. It's another word for moist and moderately viscous. If you don't like to use the word moist, you can use the word mucil. Is it? What's the pronunciation here? Is it mucilent or muculent? I would say mus mucilent. Mucilent. We're M looking. Mucilent. I agree. They are looking. Do they? Stevie Do agrees. They? Oh, heartsy. Muculent. 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 Really? But also, you can't just sub in moist because it has to have uh, the viscosity of slime. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just moist; it's also viscous, but moderately so. If it's okay. Moist can viscous. It's First up, we've got muscular. Stater Brothers garlic dinner rolls. Stater Smells Brothers good. is always the the grocery store that's like, if you go skiing, they've got a Stater Brothers in that town, like a small town ski place. There's one in Big Bear, and there's yeah. there's one in another ski town that one I in Mammoth. To. Yes, you're skiing. There's there's Stater California Brothers. Remote Grocery. And when you go skiing, you're gonna wanna come back to some garlic rolls, man. I've been meaning to tell you. I've discovered something. This is good. I've been going to the grocery store a little bit more recently. Good for you. And um, cooking for the fam, or just cooking for me and Shepard. And um, I told you this, I think, on a previous episode that I have found the frozen section in a way that I've never found it before. And I thought about you and the fact that you can't. Like you dug a tunnel and popped yeah. up into it? And I thought about you and the fact that you can't cook, but I do believe you can operate appliances. I do. And follow it. directions. Yeah, I can do that. They have so many things in the frozen section, like all these breads, but also like full meals. And I just have, I, I just thought it was just like, we never ate that growing up. Jesse doesn't get any of that stuff. So like, I'm not talking like hungry man. I'm talking like legit stuff, man. You you can go to the frozen section, just put there's like vegetables that are pre-seasoned that you just put a bag in the microwave and it steams them. All kinds of things like that. You, if you didn't tell anybody, you could go to the frozen section, come home, tell everybody to leave, and then plate it, and they would be like, Dad, what got into you? And you would be like, a little bit of money, and I took to the to the, uh, the frozen section of the Stater Brothers. I I came upon the frozen section in a way I never have before. I'm just saying I believe it's a whole new world for you that it makes you feel like you're cooking. You're um, you're talking like like parallel universe divorced version of me. Yeah, but I'm starting to do it more. You trying often. to get me to get a divorce? No, because I've been trying to eat more veggies. What's your problem? And man? then I go, but then I like go to the produce section. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get this fresh broccoli, take it home and steam it and put butter and seasoning on it. No, somebody's already done that and it's in this little bag that I can put in the microwave. It's better, y'all. Um, I mean, Sporked goes goes neck deep in all of that stuff. But bring in the next one, let's compare the two. This has gotta be better because it's got cheese on it. Oh, I actually, goodness. what made me think about it because I saw these off of there. New York. I got this last time that I went to the grocery store. New York I got bakery. New York, Texas toast, but I didn't get the five cheese. I just Good got the garlic gracious. bread. Woo, man. man. Look at that. Look at that. It's just ready. Stevie, you ever do the frozen thing? Not really. Also, the example you gave of like 
Woo. steaming broccoli being hard is a really interesting one out of all. It's not that it's hard for me. Uh, yeah. Is that it's like five steps though? Broccoli, got to tear it apart, cut it up, put it in the steamer. I'm talking bag, microwave, presto, you're done. Yeah. Yeah, I have heard of this. Presto. I definitely have. This is really tasty. I don't know if they've done it's a so steamed good. broccoli rating over on Sports This is Saturday. not actually garlicky. Does it say garlic on the thing? It's, I mean, it says five cheese, of course. Um, This one's better than that one. It's got some garlic in there. I'll tell you some garlic. This one is more garlicky. This one's more cheesy. We're gonna rank the cheesy garlic over just the garlic. I mean, garlic is the first ingredient after the uh, the bread and the bread bakes in five to eight minutes. See what I'm talking about, man? Yeah, you're right, dude. This is. Oh, I know I'm right. That's nice. So this is more classic. Oh, the, the farm can bring it. Pepperidge Farm, they do no wrong. This is good for like, cause how many pieces are here? With a five person family, eight slices. We're still good. So this is Six like of these. This is We're the type good. of. This is what my mom used to get. Yeah. You set it in there just like that, and you just bake it, and then you cut it up into these little slices. I mean, this is gonna require a little bit of slicing, but I believe you can handle that. Uh, is it pre-sliced? Sure I think it's pre-sliced. No, you're gonna have to slice it. You're gonna have to slice it, but it might have like perforations. Are you sure? Perforations just so Did you, you have know to where slice to slice it? it. Trevor? I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Listen, that, that's what we've come to now. That's what we've come to. We get Trevor to do something, he gets somebody else to do it. <laughs> he didn't even know who did it. You know what they say, something rolls downhill. <laughs> mm. Garlic bread. Oh. Oh. That's a classic garlic bread. Oh. I think it might be better than this. But I was impressed by this. This is really tasty, but there's a lot more butter. Mm. The ratio is better for this, I think. So I'm saying this is better than this. I agree. But not better than this. This is just so good because of the cheese, but I feel like the cheese is doing a lot of heavy lifting. That's fine. But I mean, if I- But it's not classic If I put bread. this on the table, everyone would flip out. They'll flip out. I and mean, if I put this on the table, everybody would just be happy. But here's the thing. This is like a fresh flip out. Man. For very little effort, you could put both on the table. That's what I'm saying, Link. You could put both on the table. And be like, what got into Dad? I'm trying to help you I'm, out. I can you be general, Dad. You don't seem receptive. Just no, so I you know. Am. You kind of got that like skeptical. When is he going to shut up about this kind of vibe going I'm, on right now? I, I'm coming but around. I'm telling you right now. If you want to make your family happy, you need to get on that frozen train. Snowpiercer. <laughs> That's what they'll, that's what they'll call you. Dad comes home, he's got frost all over him. He, like his arm is missing because he stuck it outside of the train. I found him. He, he left it inside the frozen section too long. Snowpiercer <laughs> Dad is back, and he's yeah. got all kinds of goodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, coming coming out of the frozen section. This is signature select Italian inspired garlic parmesan breadsticks. So it's, it, they, they just say right away, we're not Italian, but we're inspired by them. Yeah. These did not require slicing. Okay, so you got nobody to do this. Oh, that's doughy. This is dope. Mm. That's what I thought. Oh, that's dope. Man! You've never sincerely used the word dope, have you? Mm. I mean, I've said like slang and dope before <laughs> to, to refer to a drug dealer. Yeah, but don't, but you haven't said it just as a compliment. It's this is the active past tense. Slang slang and dope. No, slang that, just that's, sling. Slang and dope slinging. is present participle. Slang? Slang. It would be slinging. Back slanging. when people you say, what are you in for? And I'd be like, slang and dope. Oh. So no. you're saying the yeah, yeah. past participle of slinging dope is slang and dope? Slang and dope. Yeah. Well, I think it's like just if you're more... actively doing it, you're slinging the dope. Yeah, if yeah, you've yeah. if yeah. you've slang it, <laughs> you've slung you've slung it. You no, can, you can Stevie, slang. You can slang some dope slang, in this thing right here. Slang and dope is present tense. It's just is more. It? Don't sneak that on the plane. It's just more colloquial. Hmm. It's more slangish. 
I'm a big fan of these breadsticks. Yeah, they're very soft. Alive when the dope um, was being slung. But it's not as good as just regular garlic bread, is it? I'll tell you. Yeah, I'm thinking. They're so tasty, though. They really are tasty. I don't think it is as good as regular garlic bread. These are better than that, dude. Even though I want to love it. These are better than what? These are better than those. These are really good, though. Even though those are really good. Oh, yeah, I, I don't so disagree. We're, we're doing this. I feel like oh, I just dropped a lot of sticks. Like every other stick that wasn't baked just dropped onto my boots. Out of the box? Yeah, you because know, I'm trying to show you the right side. Trevor. You blew it. Oh, I know what you were thinking, Trevor. No, you could open this side. It's horizontal. You could open either side. Again, I didn't do it. He didn't do Your it. Your person did that. Oh, this is bad. Oh, now we have a rival. So this one does not have a top. We have a rival oh, hold on, what? for this garlic hold on, bread. You, hold on, did you see what just happened? I was like, this is upside down, and I was like, well, this is upside down, look. Yeah, that's upside down. No, it's not. Oh. Do you see what's happening? This is so you get this in your hand and you never stop turning it. Because this is how it cooks. But the back is all one way. It's all it's friction oriented, activated. This is Parmesan Romano garlic bread from Love and Fresh. Love and Fresh. Is it L apostrophe oven? Yeah. Mm. Mm. -mm. It's not. Nope. It's crispy. Where's the garlic? Where's the butter? Not nearly as much garlic as Pepper's Farm. It's got shredded cheese on top. This one is clearly inferior to the Pepper's Farm. I agree with you, but they're also good. I, I'm gonna put that one lowest because it's not enough of anything. You and if you taste you this, not better than Stater Brothers. Least. This has got a strong flavor, man. I agree. All right, we gotta push this one. So this one's all the way to the end. And then what? I'm gonna tell you right now, is this all of them? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now that I kinda think I know the way that sport thinks about things. And, I, and the sport team is all about, in my experience, expectations and sort of like adherence to a category is important to them. And I think that they would be reticent to put the cheesy one at the top, even though it is the best. Mm. Yeah, and I w I'm gonna be very happy to find out that this one's their number one, and I'm I'm tempted to make it my number one. I'm switching it, man. Switch it, yeah. It tastes the best, but it's the cheese. If you're just talking straight up bread. There's not enough garlic Pepperidge in Pepperidge Farm it. is doing it. Coming in at number one, Pepperidge Farm, followed by New York Bakery. So you got those two. The rest, uh, you know, uh, they ranked Stater Brothers next. Okay. Then Le Oven. Mm -mm. Then Signature Select. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not surprised by that because a breadstick is a breadstick is a breadstick. You know what I mean? You can't. There's only so much flavor you can get into this thing. What? They got a pretty good amount of flavor in there. If you do it right and it stays soft. Like whoever did Trevor's work. Um, I, I feel I feel great that we were the same in the in the number one and the number two spot. What? Yeah, you, it seemed like those are the top two, almost far and away. How do you make decisions about things and eat so little of it? Oh, you're talking to me now. Yeah, because I'm completely eating this whole thing. You had just one bite. How do you know what it even tastes like? I mean, I, I I probably tasted it three times. I, I just tasted it about 12 times. I just didn't eat the whole thing. Um, I think there's I mean, something superior to the form of the Pepperidge Farm. Agreed. Doesn't it make you feel like you did a little something? You had, you know, like you had to, you had to cut it, you know, the whole loaf goes in situation? I think they cut it before. Well, 
It went in. Is there one in that package? Can we? I bet you there is. There is. I can get it to fall right out. Now I'm just saying, did they cut it, butter it, and then put it in? No, no, no. It comes pre-buttered. It's okay. So this uh, is one Oh, oh, we were. We were oh, look at that butter. Oh, Link, you could do this, and your family would think you did it. <laughs> Let me read the instructions. It's so easy. I do think that's true with the Pepperidge Farms one. There's something about that form. <clears throat> Preheat oven to 400. Done. You can I, do that. I know how to do that. Yeah. Remove bread from bag. Yep. I just I just watched it you do it. It was very easy. Place frozen bread halves cut side up on ungreased baking sheet. You don't even have to grease the baking sheet. What? Like what's? But what is a baking sheet? Like. Hey, can I just use one of the pizza you know what? pans? Put it right on the rack. No one will care. Pizza pan. Put it right on the rack. If bread halves are frozen together, carefully insert fork between halves to separate. That probably won't happen. Don't worry. Do that. Place baking sheet on middle oven rack. Bake for eight to nine minutes or until heated through. For soft center, only preheat to 350. Wrap whole loaf in foil and nope. place on baking sheet. Got it. Too complicated. Skip. Place that. baking sheet on the middle of the rack. Bake for thirty to thirty-five minutes. What? That's too long. But I like a. But when a it takes that center. long, it makes the family think you're doing things. Right. You know what I'm saying. Imagine the smell in the house. You know. Do not microwave. I'm telling you, y'all got to get with that frozen section. Dang, it's so good. The sodium, you need that too. I mean, there's no better place than Spork.com for any kind of package or That's frozen That's right, Steve. If you wanna have the sensation that Red's talking about, just go to Spork. You don't even have to go to the grocery store, but then you're gonna to wanna to go to the grocery store, or at least order from the grocery store. Best white bread, best cinnamon raisin bread, best dinner rolls, uh, get your gluten fix. Here, it's Spork. all about letting people, just like Trevor does, it's letting people do the work for you, okay? So, <laughs> that's the way I see the frozen section, right? The frozen section is, I'm gonna go cook all this stuff and make mistakes and not get the seasoning right, and this company has like figured it out, and then I'm gonna try to make decisions about what I should be picking when Sporked is already selected. Let Sporked work for you. Let the grocery aisle people work for you and just sit back and relax. It's 2023. <laughs> to see what the crew over at Sporked has to say about the best garlic bread you can buy, head to sporked.com.